The Detroit Auto Show is where automakers come to show off their very latest in design. Along with horsepower, powertrains, and high performance braking systems, these days it's the invisible computer technology taking the driver's seat. Please welcome John Chen. Thank you, everybody. And, and that's why BlackBerry CEO John Chen is here. BlackBerry and Detroit Auto Show, what is the connection to the two? I'm here to try to explain to that. You please play the video. It's his first visit to the auto show. His mission is to sell the tech company's encryption and security reputation, the protection of your personal information, and its quest for redemption. Ace, we will provide the security protocol of how things talk to each other inside a car. Um, other people would be maybe providing a dashboard, uh, they may be providing a lane changing code, or, uh, and so forth and so forth. So, so it's very important that you create a communication platform inside a car that connects all the other, all things. The other things safely, securely, and that's what we do. BlackBerry quit making physical phones two years ago, unable to compete with the likes of Apple and Samsung. The few that are still out there are made by third-party manufacturers. In an attempt to save the company, Chen shifted focus to software, and more specifically, the operating system it bought back in 2010, QNX. And BlackBerry bought the company several years ago with a focus to use parts of that software in a new operating system for its phones. Now, the phones didn't work out, so they had to find another way to use QNX. Um, this was about the time where cars were becoming computers on wheels. So BlackBerry saw an opportunity to put QNX in uh, computer systems that would help to drive cars. For years, BlackBerry software has been running onboard infotainment systems in cars. In fact, 60 million vehicles have them. But now the company wants in on the self-driving car game, and they are creating an operating system for autonomous vehicles that works like Microsoft Windows does for your home computer. And this week, they've unveiled new cybersecurity software to help detect vulnerabilities in cars. OK, hold on tight. Hold on. The risks are real. He's not getting out of that. I'm going to act as today's crash test dummy while Charlie and Chris hijack its digital systems. From In this video, a pair of cybersecurity no researchers show He's how easy it is to hack a vehicle. So, something just turned on all the fans. And by taking control fan, remotely of this on. Jeep. I can't turn it down. So we're killing the engine right now. Chrysler recalled more than a million vehicles after the discovery. Software and the security of that software is critical. Ross McKenzie is with the Waterloo Center for Automotive Research. He says it's not just hackers that pose a risk for connected vehicles. So imagine if you're at a uh, intersection and you're in the left turn lane and I'm beside you and you've got a wireless system in your vehicle that sends a signal from your turn signal handle back to the rear taillight to make the left turning lamp flash. Well, we don't want that wireless communication to come across the lane into my car and make my left turn lamp flash. BlackBerry will continue advancing this scanning technology. But BlackBerry isn't alone in developing operating systems for self-driving cars. Giants like Apple, Google's Alphabet, Tesla are all in the game. If, if it's entirely like you said, it only the big boys win, I suggest that we're the big boys in that sector. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with our posture. The company already has partnerships with major car companies, plus a number of other tech companies wanting in on self-driving cars. A lot of people have still written BlackBerry out. Um, BlackBerry is still a fraction of what it used to be. It's not a $20 billion company anymore. It, it's, it generates roughly $1 billion in annual revenue. Um, but going forward, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be paying close attention to what John's doing in the auto sector. I oh, don't want to blow my own horn, <laughs> but I think you will agree with me that um, four years ago, uh, everybody would count BlackBerry out. Um, and, um, and even if we are able to sell the company, um, it will be sold for a very small amount of money. Uh, my job is to not only turn it around from a financial point of view, but to create a future that we could be iconic again. No matter what you think of the mistakes the company made, it never lost its reputation for encryption and security, and it's betting on that for its future. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Detroit.